three, two, one. Okay. I use the 2155 EMAs to represent the speed and the direction of the market. If the 21 is below the 55, the market is bearish. It is bearish. It's not an opinion. I don't, I'm not an opinionated person. <laughs> I'm a horribly opinionated person. Um, but I don't have opinions about the market. I'm very factual. I know exactly what's happening. And one thing, you know, if I open up a chart like this, it's, it's bearish. Now, if you want to, you know, so that's an objective thing, right? Like, it's just like, it is bearish. The market is bearish. That's it. It is bearish. Why? 21 is below the 55. Now, the subjective part is how bearish is it? Well, with an angle and separation that's widening, right? Or diverging, if you want to use MACD, the moving average, the moving averages are diverging, right? In that case, it's bearish and I should be aggressive. And then when they're converging, so you, could, you should be able to draw a MACD here. It'd be so easy to draw a MACD. Um, if you drew a MACD here, the MACD is rising. And therefore, I'm still technically bearish, right? But I'm conservative. I'm worried about double bottoms. Here, I'm not worried about double bottoms. Here, I'm in fact predicting double bottoms. And it's just how I use the moving averages. You can use whatever you want. 34.89 would be just great, right? It's what, by the way, the way that you make your money in Forex is not making tricks. I'm going to go back to the trick thing. I think you get sold a lot of promises about tricks, how to make a quick buck in Forex. It's stupid. Tell that guy to shut his mouth. Women are too smart to sell you crap like that, right? Um, you tell them to shut up. You don't want tricks. The way you make money in Forex is by actually making a decision. See, if you're doing a trick, like I'll straddle the market no matter which way it goes, I'll make money. Well, first of all, that's dumb, right? There's no way that that works. And then second of all, you're, you're avoiding what is an actual value to the rest of the world, that you analyzed information, both technically and fundamentally, and because of that analysis, you made a decision. That is worth money. That's value. You're adding value to the world. It's called alpha, right? You've made a decision. So anytime someone tries to sell you something that avoids making a decision, realize that you're, dep you're depriving yourself of your destiny. You're talking to the devil. Hell no! Mama didn't raise no fool. So do the work. Fall in love with doing the work, guys. Fall in love with the analysis. Be at peace. Don't look at tricks. So going back to technical analysis here, um, once I've decided I, I, I want to be a bear or a bull, I need to know when to pull the trigger. And I need to know something more like you know, what's happening in the moment, the momentum, so to speak. So I use the 5.8 uh, moving averages and a 5.8 cross down in a bearish market is just simply a trigger. And this is an opportunity to take profit, right? Sell, take profit. Okay, let me go back to the previous chart if it will allow me. Yeah, so see here, 21's below the 55. It's already below the 55. So this is probably like London Open, right? So here's the sell. And here's where you take profit. Genius, genius, genius. It's, it's beautiful, man. I'm telling you, when, when, you start, when you start trading properly, you'll fall in love. You'll fall in love with your charts. Okay, 200 EMA, I use fair market value. Okay, we could talk about that more later. Volatility, I use the uh, Bollinger Bands. Straight out of the box, just add Bollinger Bands that... That, that's the right setting, okay? Two standard deviations, right? What, Boris, doesn't he use like five or six Bollinger Bands? He likes to know what the one standard deviation, the two standard deviation, three standard deviation, four standard deviation. <laughs> like, well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why, but anyways. Um, good, so, and then the MACD and the stochastics. So one point I want to make is when I use the moving averages, let's go back, okay? The way that I use moving averages 
Okay, the, the 2155 is a measure of the market. Is the market bullish or bearish? And if so, how bearish or bullish, right? Then I use the 5.8 to measure price action within the market. Then going all the way to the oscillators now, the MACD represents overbought and oversold conditions for the market. And the oscillator I speed up, right? So the MACD slowed down. The stochastics I speed up, and it measures overbought and oversold conditions for price. So I'm measuring overbought and oversold conditions for both the 21.55 and the 5.8. Genius, genius, genius. The next thing you're going to ask is what time frames? All time frames. One minute, five minute, 15 minute, one hour, four hour, and daily. And daily, it's, you know, a lot of people use simple moving averages on daily. So let's, let's you can use them, but let's just say four hours and less. And on other platforms besides MT4, I've used these setups on the two minute, the three minute, uh, and the two hour, as well as these ones that I just went through, and they all work. It's, it's golden. Okay, so there you go. So all time frames, but I don't t I don't use weekly charts, for example, because you're you're forcing everything into pure technical analysis, and I think that's nonsense. Um, you have to incorporate fundamentals, and you might be looking at support or resistance from something 19 years ago, but or even 19 months ago, and the fundamentals are completely different, and uh, I don't think that's valid. I think maybe on the, on the short term, when you hit that, it, 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 you know, just on the self-fulfilling prophecy kind of stuff, uh, you, you, may, you might see what you're looking for, but I believe it's going to be a confirmation bias. I think truly what matters most, more than these technical setups, are, are the fundamentals, okay? Fundamentals first, 